In 1907, the state of Indiana began their search commission for a 500-acre plot to build the hospital on. In 1908, the state of Indiana and the governor decided on Rockville for the permanent spot. In 1919, the Indiana State Sanatorium name was officially given and set in stone. Flash forward to February 2nd, 1950, various donors and partners presented gifts to the staff and faculty of the hospital. These gifts included an American flag, a Bible, and brand new pew seating from the chief engineer of the hospital, Daniel Bruin. In 2012, all the patients were relocated and the hospital was permanently shut down. What is up guys, Urban Explorer 260, and I am at the Indiana State Sanatorium in Rockville, Indiana. All right, let's explore. I just got a tour of this place, guys, and this is freaking creepy. There's so much in this place, guys. Everything is still sitting perfectly in place as if the patients left yesterday. So I just came into this room and I found old Polaroids of basically patients and their illnesses. So I did not only find those guys, I found this old weight scale and check this out, this old x-ray machine. As I am still in the main building, I am downstairs. Notice all this checkered flooring, guys. You know, that's such a cool design to match with, you know, the old uh, old woodwork. And right here, the tour, uh, the tour guide said that these are all the old patient's gowns, all in bags. You know, everything is just left, guys, like frozen in time. But I guess the tour guide was telling me back in the day, um, you know, these old limousines that we're looking at were used to transport new patients here. God, this is so cool, guys. I don't know if I can open the door, but maybe in the back. Look at that, guys. Inside of an old limo. And I guess this used to be an old Lincoln limo, guys.
Watch your step. Holy crap, guys, this is neat. So this is the controls the driver used to have. The seat's gone now, but guys, look at this. Totally abandoned, sitting at an old mental asylum. Just think guys, back in the day, these would be filled with patients going to this hospital. All right guys, I am, one of the, I am in one of the guest houses right now that belong to Lee Allen Bryant. Um, let's explore. So look at this guys, still perfectly good condition. Here we have, guys, the kitchen. Oh my gosh, guys. This looks to be old financial records in 1975, still sitting here. We have the old uh, cat, cat collectible. God, guys, this is gorgeous inside of here. This is apparently a three bedroom home or was, see if there's anything in the cabinets, nope. Talk about an old stove, guys. A CD-ROM, wow. Holy cow, guys. Look at this wallpaper. Here, it looks like we have another old suitcase, guys. Filled with people's things. And this looked to be, like to be a screened in porch, guys. Wow. Still have a fireplace, guys. These logs are fake. But, nevertheless, this is cool. Feels like I'm in the haunting right now. Like in the conjuring. This is almost like the conjuring house, guys. This is creepy. This is a big house, guys. All right, guys, I'm going upstairs. So this, I believe, was one of the guest houses of Lee Allen Bryant, the original owner of the grounds. Original carpeting as well, guys. Um, well, I walked up the stairs, guys, and this is the first thing I lay eyes on. Uh, tell me that's not creepy. 
Guys, I'm getting Conjuring. The Conjuring House vibes so much, guys. Look at this. A pile of old checks, guys, that were never cashed. Well, guys, I think it's true. I'm looking at this doll, and most of these stuffed animals and toys, guys, look to be at least 60 to 70 years old, if not older. There was definitely a bunch of toys left up here, guys. I believe this might even have been an old toy chest. There's so much up here, guys. Like... That's an antique right there, guys. That's an old bank. Gotta watch my step, don't wanna fall through. We have a note here, guys. What does this say? Huh. Bunch of, basically a bunch of old toys, guys, scattered about. Huh. Think I struck it rich, guys. We have some money right here. Obviously, it's not real, but, you know, I can dream. All right, guys, so get this. Right next to the old chapel, there is literally an, ab literally an abandoned hair salon, guys. I haven't seen these since the 80s and 70s. I've only seen these type of chairs in movies. I've never seen one of these in real life, guys. And this is where they'd uh, give all the patients haircuts, you know. All right, guys, so I am in the nursing home right now. This is room, I believe, 106. It doesn't have the room number on. Guys, guys, look. The bed and everything is still here. The patient that used to be in this room, guys, his stuff is all still in the drawers, perfectly folded. Outside one of the areas in the nursing home is a little seating section, guys. You know, that's where uh, some of the elderly patients must have took their breaks. You know, um, just imagine, guys, people from back in the day that were 80, 90 sitting out there talking about, you know, when they were in the 50s and the 60s, how time was back then. It's scary to think time does go by fast because look at those people now. So the tour guide told me, guys, right next to the laundry room was this room where if the patients never got their clothes, they were just disposed of. And these are all the patients' old clothes, guys, all the old garbage bags. And you'll never believe what I came across, guys. Literally, guys, an old baseball jersey, still in wearable condition says rock rockville oh my god guys i'm in the city of rockville i don't know if this was an old sports team or what but maybe there's a year on it guys that is insane Rockville, number 
Number two. Huh. To the left of me is the entire dining room, cafeteria area for the hospital. And this is the old bulletin board you would see when you walk in. And as I mentioned before, Lee Allen Bryant, his name is well known around this hospital. The old cafeteria, guys. Just like the one in the nursing home, everything is still perfectly set in place. An abandoned hearse. Just think how many people that passed away rode in the back of this, guys. I don't know if the door is open, but oh my god, the door is open, guys. Look at that, guys. An old hearse. This is an old caddy hearse, guys. Wonder if the horn still works. Wow, the horn doesn't even work, guys. Well, it's been real. It's been such a fun experience today, guys. I got to experience one of the most historic spots in the state of Indiana. This is Urban Explorer 260. Peace.